Welcome back to a new AI tutorial. In this video, we are going to create an image creation web app using Streamlit and OpenAI. You can see the app that we are going to be creating in this video from the screen right now. Let's start coding. I'm in the Visual Studio Code interface. I'm going to close this welcome page. I'm going to create something like app.py and let's talk about our app. So in here, what we are going to do is we are going to create a web app which is going to take a text input and it's going to generate an image and it's going to display it in web. So let's start coding this. Also, we are going to be using the doll E model from OpenAI and we can start coding that. So I will say import Streamlit as ST for our web app, import OpenAI for the model usage, we will say import requests. We are going to say from PIL Python image library import image and next up for the end we will say from IO import bytes IO. Great. So we are going to start to this by creating a title to our app. Like I will say soon at the title, I'm going to give the title like AI image generator app. And next up, I will say streamlit.write and enter a prompt and click generate to create and we can say like an image. Next up, what I'm going to do is I will say prompt and it's going to be streamlit text input. We are going to take an input from user. Enter your image prompt. Next up, we are going to say if button generate like this we are going to say if prompt and let's firstly write the else of this we are going to write an else to this one I will say else simulate.error and we are going to say please enter a prompt to generate an image so in this way if user doesn't enter the prompt and tries to use a button to generate an image we are going to throw this error like please enter prompt to generate an image great so in here we will say response is going to be openai image create we will say like prompt is going to be prompt number is going to be one and size is going to be we can say like 1024 to 1024 Next up, we will say image URL and we are going to extract the image URL like response and we are going to take the data from the response like this and we are going to take the first one of that and we will say URL. Next up, we are going to download the image. So we will say image response is going to be equal to the requests that get image URL. Next up, we will say like image is going to be equal to the image that open we will use bytes io in here and we are going to say image response that content like this next up we will display the image in the stream by the way i want to do this in a try except block so i'm going to add an indentation like this and i will say try and i also want to add exact to this like accept exception as e streamlet error if an exception happens we can display it like this instead of crashing the program occurred and we can give the exception like this great so next up I'm going to say we are going to display the streamlet image in here so streamlet image we are going to give the image and we can say caption your image and we are going to say use column with true great so let's summarize what we did in here and then we can test out our app so in here we talked about the app logic and we talked about the model that we are going to use we import streamlit for the web app we import openai for the model we import requests for getting the image we import the image from python image library and we import bytes.io from io 
Next up, we give our app a title like AI Image Generator App and we display Enter Prompt and click Generate to create an image. Next up, we take a text input from user as prompt and we say to our user like Enter your image prompt. Next up, if user uses this button, then this is going to work, this if block, and it's going to work only if there is a text in prompt and if there is not, we are going to throw this error message like please enter a prompt to generate an image and if user enters a prompt, in a try block we try to generate the image and display it and if any error happens, we catch it with this accept block and show the error message and in try block here, we use the OpenAI to create an image in here, then we extract the image URL. Next, we download the image in here using requests, image and bytes IO, and we display the image in this format. So we can use that. Now we need an OpenAI API key for using that. And we are going to enter it from here. We will say export OpenAI API key, and we are going to paste our API key in here. But I'm not going to share my API key in the video, but you can simply type, like I'm going to write it in the top, OpenAI API Playground to the Google and go to this website. When you create your account, they gift you $5. And also you can create an API key from there for free from the key section. And you can just copy that key. It's going to be starting with SK, something like that and it's free to create. So when you create your key, just paste it in here, then press enter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to enter my key, then I'm going to click the terminal, and then we can make our Streamlit app run and test if it's working or not. So I have it ready right now. Now I'm going to say, first I'm going to save my file. Next up, I'm going to say Streamlit run app.py. And it's going to display in the browser but if it's not displaying, you can just copy this address and paste it in your browser, the localhost one, in here. And you can just go to this address or you can go from here too. Just open this address on your browser and your web app is going to be ready on there. I'm going to be re-recording in the browser. So we have the AI image generator app ready in here. It says enter prompt and click generate to create an image. And it says enter your image prompt and I will say I can change the settings from here too, by the way. I can set it to light or I can change the white mode like this. It's completely up to you. And I'm going to try the try except block, the if, I'm sorry, the if else block we have. Like I'm going to press generate without entering anything and it says, please enter prompt to generate an image. So our if statement on there is working really good. Next, I'm going to enter a, just, I'm going to say a cat and a duck. So let's try to generate this image. And our image in here, yeah, we can see we have a really good looking cat and a duck. So our app is working really, really good. Let's try something else. Like what else we can do? We can say a beautiful sunset in a beach. Let's try that. And here is our response. It looks really, really good. Let's try a more complex thing. I will say a rabbit racing with a cat for gold medal. Let's see what's going to be returning. And we have this response. It looks really, really good. Okay, let's go back to the code editor. So again, I'm going to close the terminal. It's the O code that we applied. And using Streamlit, you can create this beautiful apps with a little amount of code. So thanks for watching. I will be really happy if you can like and subscribe. Let's get to the outro. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I'm sharing new data science videos every week on my channel. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, I have a playlist for AI tutorials just like this one. You can reach that playlist from the cards of this video or from the link in the description. Have a great day.